normally write fantasy. No, at that point in my career, I was just, I said yes to anybody who offered me a job. I said, I'd love to do it, I'll do it, and I'll figure it out later. I worked with R.J. Stewart, uh, who developed Xena, uh, on, an, or on my first job, which is a show called The Great Defender. And uh, R.J. was developing Xena, and he asked me, would I like to come on board and write a couple of scripts? And I said yes. And, you know, for the fantasy genre is just not something I'm necessarily, mm -hmm. you know, so great at. So are you still like that guy now, where you're open to writing anything you just want Something. I had right? to fight that instinct. I still can't <laughs> believe I get to do this for a living. I'm so privileged and you know, right. lucky. I, I'm just, you know, the whole idea of being able to do it and to do it at the level I get to do it now with people like Martin Scorsese and Leonardo, yes. you know, it's just a dream come true. I'm really much more selective than I was now, mm -hmm. but then, but uh, I, I still, you know, there, there are so many things that I, I, I wish I had, if I could clone myself and work on other stuff <laughs> yeah. too, I would do it. Well, Great selection. Thank you. It is amazing. Thanks. I loved this movie. Thank but you. But when you get approached to do something like this, what goes through your head? I was, it was, you know, how fast can I say yes? And, you know, <laughs> really me? You really want me to do this? Absolutely. I mean, this material was so rich, funny, exciting, uh, compelling. I could not put the book down. I read it in one sitting. As I was reading it, I just saw the movie in my head. I saw different scenes. Like, this is a movie moment. This is a movie moment. I can't wait to dive in. Kind of thinking about how I would approach it already. So it was just, you know, just a dream come true. And to do it again, you know, knowing Leo was going to be the, uh, be Jordan and Marty was going to direct it was just, you know, Incredible. I've been hearing people around me saying, I could have seen another two hours of this movie. How do you take that one book and decide how you're going to make a three hour movie? I mean, three hours is still a long time, but yeah. when we could see more sure. of it, how do you decide what's going to That was the challenge. The, you know, the, book, the book was massive in scope. I mean, the story, had we filmed the whole movie, it would have been 18 hours I mean, if we told the story as it was written. So the challenge for me as a writer was to really take it and distill it down into a manageable format for a, for a movie, even a long movie. So it was a question of, of truncating some, some scenes, cut, you know, squashing some timelines, you know, combining characters, taking three characters and make that person one character and figuring out really how to find the spine of the story and, and tell it, you know, the rise and fall of Jordan Belfort. I have to ask you, did you meet the real Jordan Belfort? I did many times, okay. yeah. He's so how accurate is this film to the true story? It Well, according to Jordan and also to the FBI agent who arrested him, who told me this story is completely accurate. The guy told me, look, I tracked this guy for 10 years and I will tell you every single thing in that book is true, which makes it even more incredible because it's an amazing story. It's outrageous. Yeah, it is. The it things is that this wild. guy did. Yeah, and, and lived to tell about it. Jordan <laughs> is great. He's incredibly charming, funny, smart. Uh, didn't so set out to be a master criminal, but was sort of a regular guy from Queens who wanted to be rich and he was very ambitious and wanted to make a living in, you know, on Wall Street and as he said himself many times, you know, he just kept drawing these lines for himself in the sand of things he would never do and kept crossing those lines and before he knew it he said I was up to my neck in water and I didn't know how I got there. But really incredibly forthcoming and just really helpful in terms of, uh, you know, shaping the story and, and really giving me an insight into who he was. That's insane. I bet guys are going to be like, alright, I'm switching over to... Stockbroking. <laughs> that happened before, yeah. In the movie, there's yeah. a scene where there's that article in Forbes that was very mm -hmm. unflattering, but it actually had the reverse effect of people wanting to come work for him. Right. Made in Hollywood.